Hello, uh, brothers and sisters in Christ. Welcome to our midweek devotion. My name is Linda Pang and I'm one of the pastoral team members here in Faith. Well, today's devotion is taken from Mark chapter 14, verses 66 to 72. Well, many of us know this passage, you know, as Peter's denial of Jesus. And often when this passage is being shared, uh, Peter's denial of Jesus is compared with his earlier, you know, um, boastful allegiance to Christ, you know, when he actually told Christ, Jesus, Christ, that, you know, um, he will follow Jesus even to prison and to death. So, therefore, you know, it's very disappointing to see that eventually Peter denied Jesus not just one time, but three times. You know, um, not that we want to excuse Peter for his bad behavior, but let's go back to the night, the very moment when the, excuse me, when this happened. To understand the context a bit more, okay, it was in a very highly charged situation that night. You know, Jesus was just arrested and he was being questioned like a criminal, you know, by the chief priest in his residence. And Peter was outside in the courtyard of the chief priest's residence, you know, keeping himself warm by the fire with others. You know, when a servant's girl recognized him as one of Jesus' disciples and she confronted him. So, you know, we can understand that Peter must have been feeling, you know, anxious and fearful for his own life because if he admitted, you know, he was the disciple of Jesus, you know, he might also be arrested and, you know, called up for questioning. Right, so, you know, um, so, but, you know, so we can understand what Peter must have felt at that time, but nonetheless, we are very disappointed, you know, at not only uh, Peter's denial of Jesus, but how he did it by invoking, you know, cursing and swearing, you know, and how he reacted, you know, under pressure. Okay. Um, well, my friends, have you thought about, you know, ourselves? Like, how do we react when we are under pressure ourselves? And what does it mean to, you know, deny someone? To deny someone is to refuse to admit that you have connection with that person. So it um, need not, you know, be an outright denial like what Peter did to Jesus, but it can also take on very subtle forms. Um, a Christian brother told me his story, you know, that, you know, when he was a student studying overseas and then he went for this um, social gathering and a few of them were chatting away and then the conversation turned to Christianity and they began to mock Christianity. And this Christian brother, you know, even though he felt very uncomfortable, but he didn't do anything to defend his faith because he felt like he didn't want to go against the tide. Um, but after the incident, actually, he felt very bad, you know, he felt ashamed, he felt guilty, he felt that he actually let the Lord down, that he had denied Jesus Christ himself. Um, but after the incident, uh, he did ask the Lord for forgiveness and he has been restored by the Lord. In our lives, we are constantly faced with, you know, pressures um, and and that causes us anxiety. And very often we are also pressured to conform to you know, the ways of the world. So, you know, um, instead of becoming salt and light, you know, in the world, shining for Christ, we actually give in, you know, and react, you know, uh, selfishly. And therefore we break the commands of Christ and even sometimes to the extent of denying Christ. We're thankful that in in the story, you know, um, later on, we find out that Peter did not end up condemned after his failure. The Bible records for us that the resurrection event of Christ, you know, and the coming of the Holy Spirit on Pentecost changed Peter's fear into faith and courage. You know, the shifting sands had been blown away and Peter has been morphed into a rock living up to the name that Jesus himself gave him. For his faith, Peter suffered very much. He suffered persecution, you know, he was imprisoned, and, you know, and yet he never gave in to those pressures. You know, eventually, he even died as a martyr for his faith in Christ. 
So it was this encounter with the living Christ and the abiding presence of the Holy Spirit that gave him the courage you know, and conviction to overcome all pressures and to persevere on. Ernest Hemingway said, Courage is grace under pressure. Indeed, we see in the example of Peter that you know, he had encountered the grace of God in the love and forgiveness of his Lord Jesus Christ. And that changed him from Christ, from the state of Christ denial to self-denial. So likewise for us, you know, that we, you know, as children of God, we have encountered the grace of God, you know, exemplified in Christ's love for us, you know, demonstrated so wonderfully on the cross, that we can also move from the state from Christ denial to self-denial. Well, there's much to reflect on in today's devotion. So let us learn, you know, from the failure as well as the victory of the great apostle Peter. He was transformed, you know, from a Christ denier to Christ lover. His story is written in the Bible to inspire and encourage us. Um, and indeed, you know, it encourages me that we can shine for Christ even when we are facing pressures in life. And we do so when we are filled by the Holy Spirit and we live in the light of the gospel truth that Jesus Christ died and rose for us. Thanks be to God. I pray that, you know, that Peter's transformation journey has encouraged you as much as it has encouraged me. Thank you so much for joining us. And, and so I um, want to uh, bless you and by praying that may the Lord bless you and keep you. Shalom.